almost a copy of the other night. A close game at the half. Three-point lead here at the half tonight at the short walker three. Gave us that cushion. Second half come out and just uh, lock them down defensively and end up with a nice, easy win. Yeah, I thought we did a really good job um, in our ball screen defense, their team, that we knew going into it that they're going to set about 85 ball screens a game. Uh, and that's how they do a really good job of getting to the free throw line. And we did an excellent job. They're one of the top teams in the country. Uh, I think they're sixth in the country at getting to the free throw line. We held them to 13. Yeah. And, but it all started with our pressure up top with Trey and our ball screen defense. Um, so I'm really proud of that effort there. Uh, you know, it was one of those, another where, I mean, Parker ends up with his points tonight. He, Jake has 28 and 11. Uh, gets three there in that final, inside the final minute and a half to get the double double. But 28 and 11 from Jake. But other than that, it kind of spread out. Everybody did their part. Another collective effort. Much like the other night where we had five and double figures, just everybody seems to be falling into place, doing their job, getting things done here for this team. Yeah, and I think that's a makeup of a good team. When on a different night, any different night, you can call on someone different to, uh, to, to produce. And obviously, we had a special night from Jacob tonight. Um, last game, it was Dez. Um, so we got a lot of weapons, and, and that's why, you know, we've got 19 assists, 24 made field goals. The ball really moves. In fact, we play a fun style of play, play team. Um, so we'll continue to do that. The other thing that uh, Coach Underwood talked about in the pregame, the need to rebound. We did that tonight, dominating the glass 44-27. And uh, really, you know, second chance points, we outscored them 21-5. to So yeah. getting the job done down on the glass. I mean, this team just working hard right now. Yeah, that's a big-time effort on the glass. Um, we talk about that all, you know, every day. You know, getting inside and opposite and really attacking glass. They were not a very good defensive rebounding team going in, so that's something we really talked about uh, the last couple of days of, of really having a really good rebound effort. Taking care of the home floor, obviously everybody talks about that in basketball. you got to take care of the home court and try to go out there and win half of them on the road. This team has been a good road team in non-conference play going 4-2. and two. Now you got the longest road trip of the season coming up in conference play here during the month of January. It's just a yeah. matter of go out and, and play like they have, have played in the past on the road, I would say. Yeah, well, in our non-conference schedule, you know, really prepared us for that, too. We had multiple um, game road trips and, and not, you know, in our non-league slate. So um, we're prepared. We'll be focused. You know, we had a really, really good crowd here uh, tonight, really supportive. Um, they helped us uh, pull it out. Mentioned that during the game, that uh, a good crowd here during the, the uh, break when there have been no students. So you would certainly hope that when we come back here in late January, if we continue to play like we have, this place could be filled uh, down, coming down the stretch in February and March, and it should be an exciting time. Yeah, no question. We feel like we play a fun style of play. Yep. Uh, we play together as a team. We play hard. Um, we feel like it's a fun fun style to watch. All right, well, congratulations. Enjoy this one. All right, thank you. Steven Jitch, we're back with more. We'll wrap it up and look at some final statistics when the Bud Light postgame report continues right after this. Lumberjacks with a win, 73-56 over Sam Houston. SFA now 13-2 on the year, 2-0 in conference action, while Sam falls to 9-5, 1-1 in league play. Two players in double figures for the Lumberjacks, led by Jacob Parker, with a game-high 28 points and a game-high 11 rebounds, a double-double for the junior from Bixby, Oklahoma, 8 of 12 from the floor, 11 of 14 from the free throw line, 28 and 11 for Jake. Two turnovers, one block shot, one steal, and one assist for Parker to round out his line. The other double figure scored, Deshaun Walker. Has to take 15 shots to get it, but he's got 17 tonight. 6 of 15, just 1 of 6 from downtown, 4 of 4 at the foul line, 17 points, 4 rebounds, 1 assist, and 1 turnover for Deshaun tonight. Rest of the scoring then following those two, scattered and not a lot of it, but just enough. Desmond Heyman gets seven tonight, going four of six from the foul line. Struggles from the floor, one of seven, but seven points, two rebounds, and dishes out a game-high six assists tonight for Des in 30 minutes of action. Five for Nikola Geich, six for Thomas Walkup, two for Trey Pinckney and Tanner Clayton, five for Connor Brooks, and uh, one for Reed Westbrook to round out the scoring as Reed went one of two at the free throw stripe inside the final two minutes of the ball game here. Jacks out rebound them 44 27 for the night, including 17 offensive rebounds here tonight for the Lumberjacks. We outscore them 21 to 5 second chance points, outscore them 36 24 points in the paints, points off turnovers. They outscore us 11 to 10, and we have one more turnover in the ball game than do the Bearcats, 10 to 9. So the first time in a long time that the Jacks have had more turnovers in a game than their opponents. Long road trip begins Thursday night as we're in Houston to take on the Huskies of Houston Baptist. Ladies will start it at 5. Men will follow at 7.30. We'll have both of them right here on Q107 for you. 
beginning with the Lady Jacks at 5 o'clock from Houston Baptist University. The final again here tonight, Lumberjacks win it 73-56 over the Bearcats of Sam Houston. Hope you were here in the Coliseum. If you weren't, be sure you're back January 30th for the next home game here for the Lumberjacks. Until then, we'll see you Thursday night here on Q107 or on SFAJacks.com.